Hello, Alan Steady here again with Firewalls.com. In today's video, we're going to take a look again at the Surface XG Firewall and demonstrate how you can build user group policies without the implementation of the STAS client. This is a new and exciting feature made available to us with the latest Sophos XG firmware release, 17.5, where before we had to deploy the STAS agent on the domain controller and make quite a few additional configurations, both on the AD server as well as on the firewall, in order to achieve transparent user group policies. Now, so long as we're utilizing the Sophos endpoint protection and our Sophos XG firewall has been set up to synchronize with our central account, we're going to begin to achieve greater visibility and control. In our last couple of videos, we've demonstrated how to tie your central endpoint management console in with Active Directory. That was our AD sync video. And we also demonstrated how you can deploy the Sophos endpoint protection agent using the email setup link directly from Sophos Central. So in today's video, we're going to focus our attention back to the Sophos XG firewall and take a look at central synchronization. So the very first thing that we have to do in order to achieve client list and transparent user group policy is synchronize our Sophos firewall with our Sophos Central account. Navigating to Sophos synchronization under protect is where we're going to register our firewall with Sophos Central. We'll start by selecting the register button here where we're going to enter in our account credentials which we use to manage Sophos Central. Excellent. So we can see now that our Sophos firewall has been registered with Sophos Central, and we can see that security heartbeat as well as our synchronized application control are enabled automatically for us. Now we do already have an endpoint that's on our network that we did install Sophos Central on. We'll go ahead and fire up a remote desktop connection to that endpoint and start generating some traffic. Okay, so here's the desktop of our endpoint. Just go ahead and launch a browser here. And we'll try to access some internet-based content. Just go ahead and head on over to firewalls.com. And we'll jump back on over to our firewall and see if we've synchronized. Excellent. So we can see our endpoint is connected. This is also going to be reflected under our current activities and live users, where we can see that our individual users' information is now being relayed to our firewall. What that now means is that we can begin to build user group-based policies based off of our connected users. Creating our user and group-based policies are simple. Just go ahead and navigate over here to Protect and Firewall. We'll go ahead and add a new firewall rule, our user network rule. Give our rule a name. We'll select the position. New in 17.5 is our rule group where it's going to automatically associate any firewall policy that we're creating within a group. We'll set this to none. And it's business as usual. Select our source zones. This is where our traffic is originating from, as well as our source networks. Next, we'll define where the traffic is going to or where we are permitting our users to go. In our example here, we're going to be allowing somebody from our development ops access to a server that we have hosted up in AWS. So select your destination zones as well as your destination networks. And here under identity is where we're actually going to define the who. Who is allowed to access our server. And in our example here, we'll just go ahead and select our individual user. And we can apply all of our malware and content scanning. Okay, we'll apply some of our advanced security features, such as our IPS, as well as our heartbeat. So here we're telling the firewall that our endpoint must have a minimum heartbeat health of yellow. We'll go ahead and log our traffic and save our new firewall rule. Excellent. So our new firewall rule has been added, and that's really it. I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, please give us the thumbs up below, and be sure to get subscribed to our YouTube channel, and select the bell so you're notified of future video releases as we continue to explore both the Sophos XG Firewall as well as Sophos Central. And if you have any feedback or video topic ideas, please leave those in the comment section below and be sure to come and check us out at firewalls.com. That's www.firewalls.com. Get secure, stay secure.